What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. I'm back again kama kawaida to mean as always. Uh, so today I'm here with uh, the song Dreamtime. Uh, but before we proceed, I have some uh, background information regarding it that I feel it's uh, crucial for me to read before uh, we proceed so we have an understanding of uh, what we are about to listen to. So I'll go straight ahead. Uh, so I'm told that uh, this track is from uh, a concept album by Thomas Alopainen, uh, who's a songwriter, keyboardist, and co-founder of the Finnish band Nightwish. I've listened to Nightwish before. Uh, so the track is titled uh, Dreamtime, uh, like the Aboriginal creation myth, aka the dreaming uh, and i'm told that um, about the alopinens album uh, it is inspired by a comic book uh, the life and times of uh, scrooge mcduck uh, by retired american cartoonist don rosa uh, so uh, i'm also told that uh, the track is an adaptation of a chapter uh yeah of a chapter that takes place during the australian gold rush of the 1890s uh Alopinen's heavily layered darkly spiritual track uh uses the jeridu for its base so we are going to hear a lot of uh, the jeridu uh so uh also uh with the metallic percussions uh sounding like uh digging pick pickaxe uh so the the Dreamtime Dark of uh, the Never Never 1993 by Don Rosa. Uh, the artwork in the video is uh, from an Italian uh, print of uh, the story. So I'm really excited and looking forward to this. And I'm hoping that uh, you are coming along with me now that uh, we have a background story of uh, this. Let's uh, listen to it and uh, hear the Dideridu as uh, the base. Base.
Hmm, interesting. So as the, you could hear, you could uh, clearly hear the didgeridoo as uh, the bass uh, to this song. And uh, I wish I could read the print. Like uh, uh, as you could see, it's written in uh, Italian. I wish I could read that because uh, it looked like uh, it was telling an interesting story. But uh, all the same, I enjoyed the instrumentals in the song. And uh, basically that's it for today. So let me know in the comment section what you think of uh, uh, this uh, soundtrack or rather the uh, bits in it and uh, the didgeridoo. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And uh, that brings us to the end of uh, this episode. So no interpretation and uh, no takeaway from it other than uh, just uh, enjoyment. Uh. So today's episode is sponsored by Rune. And Rune, thank you so much. And uh, see you guys in the comment section and uh, in the next episode. Uh, one thing I also need to share is uh, that uh, uh, so far we've been listening to a number of uh, videos with uh, the didgeridoo uh, like a sound uh, or rather performance. So one thing that you can say about it for me right now is that uh, uh, despite didgeridoo being a traditional instrument, it can apply in, in various uh, uh, like uh, modern day uh, like uh, music and uh, it can still be used even like in this case it's the bass uh, so you can play around with it uh, like uh, even now uh, like for bands they can include it in there so I feel like uh, it's an instrument that uh, uh, like uh, uh, goes beyond uh, like goes uh, beyond its time like uh, it's an it's an a traditional aboriginal instrument but uh, even today we can still apply it in uh, our music and uh, the modern day music uh, so that's it for today so thank you for watching see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe uh, for more and also consider to turn the notification bell on so that uh, you get notified whenever i post a video and uh, last but not least to support this channel consider to check the description below where you'll find the details to my paypal as well as our patron community and uh, until next time your lovely lady is out peace out and uh, bye